Right, welcome back to the back nine at Hornsey. It is all to play for in the Cabin Tour Championships. I'm one ahead on the back nine. Number 10, long downhill par four, wind helping. That'll do nicely. Just a little fade down the right, straightened on the bounce. Let's go reclaim our crown. Great tee shot there. Even gone through the fairway, it's gone that far. Hope you're enjoying the content. If you are, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It really helped me out. We're on the way to a thousand subs. Let's go make birdie, shall we? Okay, just nice smooth sand wedge, I think. Slightly downwind. That was a weird strike. Should hopefully work out. That's not great, but it's not terrible. Not the most impressive approach, but this is my area. 52 degree, slightly uphill. Just needed a tiny bit more. No complaints about a tapping for though. Lovely. Now I love this golf course, but this is such a good golf hole. It's only 280, but it's called Pond. And you'll see why when we get to the green. So it's just a four iron down the center. Not a great strike, but it seems to have gone straight. Didn't really need the one-handed follow through, but it didn't <laughs> feel good. Um, wind is swirling. I was hoping it was into slightly off the right, which I think it is. So just a three quarter 56. Pins at the front, so dangerous. Gone for it. Played one spin. Oh baby, we're golfing again. Had a little wobble on the front nine, but it's coming back. Very pleased with the approach, now let's convert. In you go. Bush. So big, love birdies. Wind seems to have picked up for this hole. It's 160-ish yards, I've got a seven iron. Very concerned it's not enough club. So I'm gonna hit a trap draw. and I've just left it way out to the right. <laughs> I'll be chipping up the green, but that was not great. This is not how I'd planned it. I'm kind of pin high, no green to work with. Ball sat down, it's a flop shot, and it's a bit of a spray and pray. Nearly. Concerned about duffing it again, and if you watch the front nine, that's exactly what I was doing there. Never high enough, unfortunately. Not a bad fall after the tee shot. Bit annoying to hand back that birdie so cheaply, but you live and you learn. Game is still afoot, and this is a special hole. I've hit every club in the bag off the tee here, and I've opted for four iron this time. Let's try and hit it down this chute. Oh God, get over. I'm not sure, it was very toey. Could be chipping out. I got lucky though. Well, as not a great deal of chance of me getting this to the green because it's round the trees. So I'm just getting a sand wedge out into the fairway. Try and get up and down. Just like that. Right, can't get complacent. Not much space left of this flag. So I'm aiming 10 feet right of it. Oh, 
Right, giving ourselves a chance, that's pretty much what I was hoping for. I am partial to a crazy par save. I was expecting it to exit stage left, but instead it went straight. I suppose it's not a terrible bogey in the end. Poor tee shot let me down. Now, we're still battling it out. Tiny bit of a pillow fight to some degree. And we've gone from making a tough bogey to a 450 yard par four up the hill. Wind's hard off the left, so I'm aiming left and praying the wind helps me. That was a very healy strike and it could be in bother. Oh dear. Bounced once into some rather thick looking stuff with trees in front of it. Yeah. I've just got away with this. It's a bit awkward because I'm on the down slope leading into the ditch. So I've got six iron to try and get enough height on it to get it over the ditch but under the trees. Somewhat dangerous. I hit that too well and it's clattered the tree and gone straight down. Drat. Hopefully I can get under this limb. I've got eight iron. If I can get this on the green and putting for par, I'll be quite impressed. needs to hold its line which it did hopefully I can get the flat stick on that bad boy and we somehow make a putt right not a bad a time in the end avoiding trees we'll take a seriously good putt nearly fell in the bunker go 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 <laughs> That would have been like stealing candy from a baby, but not to be. <laughs> not too upset with the bogey on that hole, it's so hard. Tough holes continue, but it's another great hole. 424 but downwind. Slinging dog at the bunker. That's not good. That's so bad. Found it. Well, Paul did. That is all. Not really much choice but to hack it out and carry on. That'll do. It's in the fairway. I think. Stay there. Yeah, cool. Good recovery ish. Good shot needed here. 165 middle. But it's downwind, so it's a smoothie eight iron. Struck well, it's just leaking right. Needs a bounce. Got it. Wow, that was quite lucky, actually. I think it's just on the fringe. But I'll take it. Really don't want to heap pressure on myself, but I really have to get up and down here. Get there. Oh, it's right on line, but it's short. That's further away than I would like to use my wedge. Bogey. That's what happens when you lash it into the trees. Just leaking a few strokes, but five actually wasn't that bad there. Paul reining me in with a nice hole of his own, and he's hit a good tee shot here, so... Nerves jangling. Should be all right. Yeah, tiny bit left of where I'd like to have been, but in play, I'm happy with it. Okey cokey, just off the left side of the fairway, sat down a little bit. It's about 200 yards downwind, and I've got six iron because I'm not convinced I can get anything more on this ball. Somewhere up near the green would be really good. Uh oh, I've hit it towards the left bunker. Get over it. Nope, I'm in it. 
I think that's green side though, so that's all right. We're gaining on it. Thank you if you stayed this long to watch. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. Cheers. Now in some ways, I'm kind of glad I've hit the bunk here because I could have been long, although it would have been better than here. The bunkers are very wet and flat packed, so there's a concern I'm just going to bounce off this, which is a concern. I've said that twice, which means I'm concerned. So I'm going to get quite steep just to get underneath this. Thought that I'd have more spin on it. That's not too bad though, I'm quite pleased with that. I've got sand in my shoes. Just on the fringe and it's a reasonable chance at birdie. Slightly downhill, left to right. I think this would probably put the competition to bed. Absolutely arrow straight somehow. Thanks, Paul. Steady par. Not great. Not bad. Right. Completed the Hornsey Mile, as it's known, which is a long walk. Got pitching wedge. It's 140, but downwind. Can't really miss left, so I'm aiming just right of the flat. Ooh, that's where I aimed it. Spin. Yep, happy with that. Decent connection as well. Love to see it. Yes, trophy. Right, we've come up a skosh long, but that's definitely better than short. Not a great deal in this putt, I don't think. Just sort of over a hump, so maybe a touch of right to left. Eh? I don't understand. <laughs> I was going to say improvement required and found. Wow. Surprised myself. Sadly, last hole. I would absolutely recommend this wholeheartedly. It's so good as horsey. Cost us £25 as well. Let's finish strong. Last hole, 400 yards. Wind left to right. Up the left with a fade. That was struck beautifully, but it's tight. Hmm. Could be OB. Anybody see a bounce? I am exceptionally fortunate to be two club lengths inside the OB. Both of them were actually. Just got a little nine iron. Pins right at the back. Just past this sol tree. Wind's pushing it that way. So aim 15 feet left and just chip one down there. Be good. One time. Got a nod of approval from Paul, which means a lot. Come on then. One or two putts to cap off a memorable day. I hope you've all enjoyed watching. Get yourself out to Hornsey. I promise you will not regret it. This putt looked downhill, but now looks uphill, which is a worry. And speed control has never been my strength. Sort of to be expected, but I'm not overly annoyed. Tapping four to finish. Goodbye.